Hey guys, how you all doing? Rahul here, and today I have a few ways to help boost your FPS in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now, I've got a few methods here today, and you might find that some work for you and some do not work for you, but hopefully by the end of the video, we'll get at least one method working for you, and you'll see a notable difference in your frames per second. Now, obviously, the more frames you get, the smoother your gaming experience will be, but it's also down to your monitor and the refresh rate of your monitor, so we'll be having a look at that as well. So the methods we're going to be taking a look at today are the in-game settings, the launch options, core parking, updating your drivers, optimizing your drivers, using a game booster, and finally checking out your monitor settings. Now you can click on any of these um, right now to quickly jump ahead to that section and access it, or you can choose to watch the whole video through. Now before we just go on, um, I am sorry if none of these do help you. If you want to leave in the comments any questions you have or anything, I'll be sure to try and help you out, but hopefully by the end of this video, will be helping you out in some way or form or maybe all of these methods will work and you'll be getting a load more frames than you used to before. So we can start off with the in-game settings and the only settings we're going to be having a look at for in-game are the video settings and um, once you're in there the first well to start off with you can have a look at your advanced video options. Now here they'll probably start off on auto they might be the same as mine they might be a bit lower but if you want the best frames possible, you want to drop everything, um, all of these settings down to low. And the main ones which you want to be having on low are your global shadow quality, your shader detail, and the anti-aliasing modes. Because these are the ones which are going to be affecting your frames per second the most. The others still have a slight effect, but they're not as big as the ones I just said. So you want to be dropping them to low. Though, having everything on low will be the best um, for your performance and your frames per second. So if you want the most frames, then drop everything to low. Moving along, we can look up a little bit and have a look at the resolutions. Now, the two ones which are going to be affecting your frames per second here are the aspect ratio and your resolution. Now, I would recommend keeping the aspect ratio to whatever you're used to. This is just because if you are changing your aspect ratio, then it basically changes the way you're playing the game because it might mean you're now going to be playing stretched or something. Arguably, stretch could be a better thing or a worse thing, but that's up to you for you to decide. But I would say keep the same aspect ratio. For me, it's 16 by 9 and just change your resolution. If you find it at 1080p, it doesn't give you enough frames, you can probably drop it down to say like 720p, so 1280 by 720 Your game will look a bit different, it probably won't look as like high quality, however you're going to get more frames and um, you're going to have a smoother playing experience. So this is just for you to um, kind of mess about with, see which one works for you and um, see which one gives you the best frames to play with. I though would recommend trying to stick with whatever re resolution you're playing with just because there are other ways to boost your FPS and this is probably like a last resort to change because it will um, change the whole way you play the game and the whole way your game looks so I wouldn't really recommend changing this unless like, you really have to, to gain those um, extra frames per second. Now we can have a look at the launch options and I have to say that these generally don't have the biggest effect on your frames per second, however I'll show you them anyway because they are useful to know. So when you're on Steam you just want to right click your game, go down to properties and then go to set launch options and then a little box will open. These will be in the description so you can copy them but I'll quickly just go over what each of them do. So for the no vid it basically cuts out that little intro video at the start of your game, doesn't really help your frames per second but it just means you can get into the game quicker. For high, this will set your game to high priority mode. It might have an effect on your frames per second, but if it doesn't and you're not noticing a boost, then I would recommend taking this one out. And for this final one, the No 3D 9 EX1, this will just um, make your alt tabbing in your game a little bit quicker and it means you can get into the game a little bit quicker. But like I said, really the only one which might have an effect on your FPS is this high one, but it's not that likely. So just have a look, see if it does. If it doesn't, then do take this one out, but the other two, you can keep in there. Now we can have a look at unparking your cores. Now these, this kind of um, method will generally only help people with um, older operating systems, say if you're using Windows 7. This is because on Windows 7 the kind of whole core parking thing wasn't done that well, so um, unparking your cores and that will help um, with that operating system. However, if you're on like Windows 10 or something, then this probably won't have that much of an effect on your FPS. So if you click the link in the description, you can scroll down, um, you'll be on this website here, and there's a little download link right at the bottom, um, which you can click, and then once you've downloaded it, um, you get a little zip file, which if you unzip, you'll get this little um, software, which you can double click, called the Unpark uh, CPU, and then once you've got in here, you can just click check status, and um, you'll have to wait a bit. 
and then you'll see um, this going on the status it'll probably be parked if you've never unparked before but then um, if they're both parked you just want to click unpark all and then it'll unpark them and once it's done you'll see the status again it'll say unparked and um, yeah you've pretty much unparked your cause and hopefully this will give you a little bit um, of a frame boost within your counter-strike like I said though if you are on a fairly new operating system then this probably won't have any effect at all so um, you can probably skip to the next step all right, now we can go and have a look at updating our video drivers. So I'm going to be going to the AMD drivers simply because I use AMD. But if you are on NVIDIA, then I'm pretty sure you know how to um, update your drivers. But for AMD, you just want to type in AMD drivers, go to the AMD driver page, and then go to drivers and support at the top. Go down to whatever operating system and what bit operating system you're using. So I'm on Windows 8.1 and I'm 64 bit and then um, you can scroll down to the bottom and download the drivers uh, for which you want to be using. So I've got the Crimson Edition and um, I've got the 16.3 Hot Fix. So once you've got your drivers, um, you'll get a little download thing and you basically just run it and um, you'll get your new drivers. But then you should be able to open up your driver kind of window or whatever it's called. I think for AMD you get the GeForce Experience and for AMD we simply get AMD Settings. Now this has changed a lot since I um, used to use it like a, a month, a few months ago. Um, the whole kind of view of this whole AMD thing looks a bit different so um, we've got it and it can be a bit confusing to get your head around but if you just go to the top where it says gaming and then click, click uh, global settings here we can have a look at changing a few settings so we can go to the global overdrive and um, here are a few settings which can, we can look to change so we can change the GPU clock, the power limit, the memory clock the target GPU temperature and the target fan speed. Now, if you don't really know what you're doing, I would recommend just um, leaving um, everything as it is. The GPU clock, you can generally um, push up a little bit, power limit up a little bit, um, memory clock up a little bit, and then your temperatures and stuff. I don't really um, change any of these because my temperatures are done um, elsewhere because I've got water cooling and stuff. But um, yeah, generally this is what you're going to be doing. Now like I said though, if you don't really have any idea of what you're doing here, then just leave it. It should be fine for everything which you're doing. Just as long as you've got the most up-to-date drivers, um, you'll pretty much be fine to go ahead and have some fun. I'm not too sure how the A um, the NVIDIA kind of area looks like, um, their whole kind of um, settings uh, area. I'm not too sure what that looks like, but I'm sure there's a video somewhere on YouTube going over it because I think NVIDIA right now uh, have like the bigger market share in terms of graphics cards for um, gaming PCs. Now we can move on to having a look at getting a game booster or something. The one I personally use is Razer Game Booster or Razer Cortex. Um, you can probably find it by just searching up Razer Cortex into Google and finding a download link. I'll probably put a download link in um, to, to this in the description so um, you won't have to look too far. But um, once you've downloaded it, installed it and um, once you've opened it up, it'll basically look like this and you'll have all your games which you've um, got installed on your hard drive here so you can just like click it and then you can start your game but what we're going to have a quick look at is the boost setting and um, in here you can we can basically have a look and choose which programs we're going to terminate when we are ready to play our game now you can go through all of these these are programs which are currently open and you can have a look at terminating them this is like the kind of manual settings um, which you're going to be changing everything else is done via the app and it does it all itself but it's really cool it just like um, closes processes and things which aren't really going to be needed whilst you're playing the game and then it gives like more fo it allows your PC to focus more on the game itself and um, I, I think it helps a bit with the frames per second for me personally it helped a little bit I don't know about you it might help it might not just give it a go um, if it doesn't help then you can always uninstall it but it's worth a try and um, there's real like no real harm in trying trying it for yourself so give it a go and um, yeah that's about it for the Razer Game Booster. Alright so now we're at the final area we're having a look at the monitor and the refresh rate this kind of whole area won't really affect your frames per second at all but if you've got the best refresh rate you can for your monitor it will give you a smoother experience as well so you just want to right click your desktop and go to screen resolution and then you'll be able to see the monitor of which you're playing on if you've got multiple monitors and just make sure the one you're going to be playing on is selected and then you want to go to your advanced settings and then here you just want to click monitor at the the top 
and then you'll be able to see your screen refresh rate now you want to make sure that it's on the refresh rate which your monitor is advertised to be mine is 144 hertz but just make sure that you've got that selected and then click apply and click ok many times i've found that my monitor sometimes changes back to 60 hertz and um, it makes my whole gaming experience feel really weird but with this done it means that when i play i'm at 144 hertz and i've got a smooth playing experience but that is about it for what i wanted to show off in this video just a few ways to help boost your frames per second also people are probably going to ask how you get these kind of icons on your desktop and um, they're able to be clicked and stuff but i'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to find out for yourself anyway yeah that is about it nothing really else to say other than if you have any questions at all then don't feel um scared to leave them in the comment section below i'll try my best to help you out or there'll probably be other people in the comments looking to help you out as well so hopefully that should be good anyway i've been rahul hopefully you have enjoyed this video if you had then please drop a like really helps me out and i guess catch you on the next one